Now Sports with Reagan Holgate. We are back and better than ever, folks. We are just a few short hours away from kickoff here with these varsity teams. JV already underway. And you know what? I don't think there is any better place to be out here, uh, you know, for week one besides Stillman Valley. And these cowbells are about to be heard from miles away, I'm sure, because the Dixon Dukes are rolling into town tonight. Let's actually start um, with the Cardinals, give you a preview there of what we can expect from them tonight. Stillman is positioned to be a threat in the Big Northern once again. And, of course, it always helps when you bring back QB1 and that's what Stillman has with Braden Angle. He's a dual threat QB and is definitely not afraid to use his legs. Braden Rogers will be taking over at fullback after the graduation of Jory Spain. Now, Spain is just one of 20 seniors the Cardinals lost, so development of the younger guys will be key this season, especially for a team like Stillman who likes that ground and pound action. When Stillman saw Dixon last season, uh, the Dukes were down with some injuries, but this year is a different story, and Coach Mike Lawler knows that they have to be ready. We know we've got our hands full. They, they bring back three or four, uh, three-way, um, three-year, excuse me, starters. Uh, their quarterback, uh, Shaner, is very, very good. So we know we've got our hands full. They always got a great size up front, and uh, it's going to be um, it's going to be a real big test week one. Dixon, um, I think, kind of makes it extra special. You know, we've had some some really good games against them in the past, so I think there's a little bit more of a rivalry there. And now for the Dixon Dukes, uh, you know, this is a team that finished fourth in the conference last year and was definitely not satisfied with that. And they do believe that they can make a bigger push this year in the Big Northern. And you actually heard, just heard uh, Coach Mike Lawler mention him, but quarterback Tyler Shaner is going to be a key piece for this Dixon team. This will be his third year as the starter. And Shaner has no shortage of talent around him with a deep and speedy backfield. That includes his younger brother, Colin Shaner, Aiden Wiseman, and Eli Davidson. But having Stillman Valley week one on the road is no easy feat. And the Dukes know that this is an important test to gauge what they can expect this season. It's a tough place to play. Uh, so what a great test. You know, if you want to talk about being a state champion or how good you're going to be, then why not come out and play Stillman Valley in, in week one? They never let up. They like to pound the ball a lot. And we know that from last year that they never stop. So we just got to keep it going with them. And we just got to come out on top. We just got to be the harder team. This Dixon game kicks off at 7, but here's a look at some other action we'll be following tonight. Staying in the Big Northern, we've got Winnebago at Lutheran. In the NUIC, a big rivalry matchup between Fulton and Forreston. That'll be a good one. And then in the Nick 10, it's the Boylan Titans taking on the East Erabs. All right, folks, make sure to tune in tonight for overtime. We'll bring you highlights from all those games, plus so much more. And, of course, our guy Tim Bailey will be back in the house with his analysis of the Nick 10. That's all happening tonight at 11 p.m. on Fox 39. We hope you'll join us. That's all I've got live out here at Stillman Valley. We'll be right back.